In this movie, we're going to cover the OR clause in the SELECT expert. We're going to continue along using the report from the prior lesson and click on the SELECT expert and observe our formula. Let's go ahead and click on Formula Editor. In this case, I'm going to leave Northern California and erase the rest of these out of the IN clause. And I'm going to replace the AND with an OR. The statement now reads, revenue transaction revenue amounts greater than 100 OR the office is Northern California. In plain English, it should be read like this. Any revenue amounts above 100, in addition to everything from Northern California. In a simplistic way, the OR statement is kind of the reverse of the AND. But you still need to be a little bit careful. I'll illustrate what I mean. We can go ahead and check our formula. Now that no errors are found, go ahead and save and close. Let's go ahead and press OK, and we're going to ahead and refresh the data. From here, we're going to do something to make our lives a little bit easier for navigation purposes. Let's go ahead and insert a group. Click on the Insert menu, choose Group, and as your group, choose Office.Office .office Name and press OK. Now we have our handy drill down over here that helps us out. As you can see, it pulled in all the offices, and those offices where revenue amounts on individual transactions were above 100. But watch what happens when we click on Northern California. Northern California has revenue amounts less than 100. Remember, this is the tricky part of the OR clause, a simple illustration of how it works. It pulled in all those offices where the revenue amounts were greater than 100, but it pulled in everything for Northern California because we asked it to. It's the one thing about SQL and Crystal in general, we'll do exactly what it is told. Let's continue along with the OR clause and click on the Select Expert again. We're going to Show Formula and go to the Formula Editor. Now from here, I'm going to copy this statement down here, like so. I'm going to replace one from up here, and instead of Northern California, I'm going to put Louisiana. I'm going to check my formula, and press OK. Now remember, when you're checking the formula, Crystal doesn't look for spelling errors or data entry mistakes or typos. It's merely checking the syntax. That's the stuff in blue and in brackets to make sure that it's compatible. It will let you make a mistake. For example, if I got creative with the spelling of Louisiana, for example, then it would essentially not be able to find a match and just pull back for what it could match to, in this case, Northern California. Let's go ahead and save and close, and press OK. Let's refresh our data since we've changed the select expert. Now I have Louisiana or Northern California, all revenue amounts regardless. Crystal does something interesting when you do something like this. It tries to find a fast and efficient way for you to work. Let's look at our formula. Even if we go to the formula editor, Crystal has taken this, the two OR statements, and combined them into a single IN statement because they equal the same thing. Where it can, Crystal tends to use its own syntax or the predefined as opposed to the complicated OR statement, which in many SQL databases must be evaluated one at a time. Let's add another OR statement to test our theories. This time we're going to say OR customer client starts with which you should be familiar with from our prior movies, and we'll put A. Since in the select expert it likes to use double quotes to identify text or strings, I'm going to continue with that. And I'm going to go ahead and check. As I see no errors are found, I'm going to go ahead and save and close, and then press OK, and refresh the data. Notice what happens. In addition to my Louisiana and Northern California, I also get all those sites where they have a client with an A in their name. If I go forward or backwards, I get all the clients that begin with A. I also get all those clients that are in Louisiana or Northern California. The OR clause is almost like a wild card. It's either this, in addition to all that. Try and keep that in mind. A lot of people in the plain English language would say either OR, but OR in this case means in addition to the following conditions. 